Hi. I'll bet you'd like to be out here with me right now, wouldn't you? Out here relaxing on the sea. Well, I have a suggestion. Why don't you join me? I'm Mary Finley, your host aboard the Superliner Holiday. And I must say, when you want to get away and unwind and have your kind of fun, this is the place. It's the perfect mini vacation. You don't have to worry about little nuisances and annoyances like cover charges or minimums or crowds, like say Vegas. You don't have to hassle with traffic. You don't have to pack and unpack, pack and unpack. Almost everything is taken care of in one low price. It's really very affordable and you'll be pampered to your heart's content. Let's put it this way, when you're on a three or four day Funship holiday cruise, you can really relax and live out your fantasies. But don't take my word for it. What made you decide to take a holiday on the holiday? Well, we've been seeing Kathy Lee for years and years and we wanted to have some fun. And how better to do it than on the fun ship, right? Uh, it's my father's 65th birthday and my mother's 60th birthday on Thursday evening. So we decided that for the family to come spend it on Carnival. And it's our honeymoon, and we just got married Saturday. Saturday. Second honeymoon, first cruise. <laughs> this is our third Carnival cruise. This is our fourth Carnival cruise. This is my first day on a Carnival cruise, <laughs> and I'm having a great time. Our children have been on this cruise and told us how great it was. I love it. It's terrific. It's just really, really a good experience. Fantastic. Fantastic. Being outside and just being around a lot of people that are here for the same reason. It's very smooth and it's relaxing and we've already met some people and we're just having a great time already and it's just getting started. <laughs> the first place most people want to see when they come on board is their stateroom. And we have a wide choice of spacious accommodations. This is a typical inside stateroom aboard the holiday. As you can see, it's really very spacious. Hi. But then, Carnival staterooms are over 50% larger than those on most other cruise lines. You never feel cramped or crowded, which is wonderful when you're getting ready for dinner and someone else is getting ready for dinner at the same time. Our staterooms have twin beds that convert to a king, wall-to-wall -wall carpet, a phone, lots of drawer and closet space. There's a closed circuit TV that shows first run feature films daily and your private bath has a shower. And the decor gives the impression of a window for a more open atmosphere. It's a terrific value. Our ocean view staterooms have everything our inside staterooms have, plus a window. Not a porthole, a window. A big, wide window with a beautiful, ever changing view of the sea and each new port of call. And at night, it's great to look out and see the moonlight reflecting on the water. Very romantic. If you insist on top of the line, you'll want to stay here in a veranda suite, which is about twice as large as a conventional stateroom. It's luxury all the way. It has a sitting room, twin beds that convert to a king, a sofa that converts to a queen-size bed, a bar, refrigerator, double vanity, color TV, and your private full bath as a whirlpool tub. And, as its name suggests, a private veranda. And, no matter what accommodations you choose, room service is available 24 hours a day, with our compliments. Hmm, where else can you get free 24-hour room service? Certainly not Vegas. And for that matter, where else could you find complimentary snacks and desserts like ice cream, frozen yogurt, and cookies? Now that you know you have comfortable accommodations, let's take a look around the ship. As we walk around, you'll be amazed at, well, how much walking around you can do. The Holiday has acres of deck space. That includes sunny decks, shaded decks, decks with tables by the sea, and of course, pool decks, where you can get a great tan, some cool refreshments, and lots of relaxation. And why are you getting that great tan? So you look great at night when you're out on the town, or in this case, out on the holiday. This is Broadway, the main entertainment boulevard aboard the Holiday, featuring a variety of nightclubs and lounges running the full length of the ship. But here's something the Great White Way doesn't have, the gaming club. 
The holiday has lots of Vegas excitement without the crowds. In fact, this is one of the largest casinos afloat. The perfect place to try your luck. Not that I gamble, mind you. But they have Wheel of Fortune, Roulette, Craps, Blackjack, Caribbean Poker, Seven Card Stud Poker, and 154 slot machines, including nickel slots. This is for me, nickel slots. Oh, I won! <laughs> Next time you should try the dollar machine. <laughs> oh, by the way, when you walk down Broadway, don't run to catch this bus, because you can't miss it. It's always here, at the bus stop, one of the most popular hangouts on the holiday. A bar with live music and lots of action, every day of the week. On Broadway, you can go from the fun atmosphere of the bus stop to the sophistication of a European cafe at Cappuccino's, where they have all kinds of delicious specialty coffees. My favorite, espresso with whipped cream. And right next door here is the Tahiti Lounge, featuring dancing and entertainment nightly. Let's go inside. Exotic, huh? Ceiling fans, lots of bamboo, and 78 individual hand-carved totem poles. And tonight, well, you won't believe this place. It has a beat all its own. This is Reflections, one of the hottest discos at sea, or anywhere for that matter. The action here continues until four in the morning, or for as long as someone is still standing. But one thing's for certain, you'll never see anyone in this place standing still. The Holiday offers something no other cruise line can offer, a one-of-a-kind, one-million-dollar entertainment complex here in the Blue Lagoon Lounge. Carnival spared no expense to bring our guests, young and old, the latest in cutting-edge game technology. We have state-of-the-art high-tech thrillers. And the centerpiece attractions are virtual reality and R360, a fighter jet simulator. <laughs> and for the little people, we feature the likes of <laughs> Smart Toss, Junior Grand Prix, and Feed Big Bertha. Yes! <laughs> Even though we're in Rick's Cafe, I am not even going to try a Humphrey Bogart imitation. And even though there's a grand piano, lazy paddle fans, and the place reeks with intrigue with its North African decor, I will not say play it again, Sam, or here's looking at you, kid. But you must remember this. You can have an absolute ball singing your favorites while you imbibe a bit of your favorite refreshment. Speaking of mystery and intrigue, if you want to uncover a really incredible mystery, head to the Carnegie Library and open up a good book from the holiday's complete selection. What a pleasant place to meet friends for drinks before dinner, or to play a game of chess or Scrabble, but try not to talk too loud. If you want loud, come on over to the Americana Lounge to see two bold, brassy, lusty, lavish, let it all hang out, rip roar, and award winning musical shows. Here's Hollywood and Broadway. Believe me, Vegas has nothing on this. And as I said before, there are no covers, no minimums, just great entertainment. Wait a minute, hold it. While you're having all this fun, what are your children doing? If you have your children with you, that is. Well, they're having a great time too thanks to Camp Carnival, which offers supervised activities from morning till evening for children in four different age groups, toddlers, intermediate, juniors, and teens. And believe me, we don't just show them a movie and forget them. This is an incredibly complete entertainment program. We have cool games, arts and crafts, special kids' menus, even a Little Tykes Play Center. And here's a behind-the-scenes look at a place that would fascinate kids and adults, the ship's control room. All the state-of-the-art equipment constantly monitors every aspect of the ship's operation. From here, the engineer can monitor the ship's course, the weather, even the perfect temperature for your stateroom. And he's in constant contact with the bridge. This is the engine room. As you can see, it's nothing like the engine rooms in those old adventure movies. Just look at the size of this engine, and there's two of them. And you can practically eat off the floor in this place. 
But frankly, when it comes to eating aboard the holiday, there are a lot more interesting choices. Like the Wharf Bar and Grill, where you can have a sumptuous breakfast buffet or a bountiful lunch. At breakfast, you can even have your omelets made to order. And at lunch, there's a terrific pasta station with daily specials. If you prefer a sit-down lunch, you can enjoy our chef's specialties at your table in the Seven Seas or Four Winds dining room. And on days when we're in port, you can enjoy a wonderful lunch and buffet. But don't eat too much, because every night you're going to have a selection of four appetizers, three soups, two salads, and at least six different specialty entrees. And every night there's a new theme and a new menu. If you hunger for more, we offer a selection of fine cheeses and enticingly tasty desserts. And for those who are really health conscious, we feature low-calorie, low-fat Nautica Spa Cuisine. And, but of course, the holiday offers a selection of fine wines from all over the world. Oh, Opus One, my favorite. And did I mention, you can conveniently charge your wine, drinks, and other onboard purchases to your sale and sign card. And the service is impeccable. Impeccable sounds so stuffy. Let's face it, the service is terrific. You're probably wondering how you're going to burn off all those calories, right? I can answer that in two words, Nautica Spa. It's a great place to get trim. It has treadmills, bikes, free weights. If you love to sweat and lift and stretch and bike and jog, this is the place for you. Or you can work out on deck. Or if you're like me, you can just relax in the warm tropical sun. A lot of our female guests ask me where I got this great haircut, and I think they expect me to name some fancy shop in Los Angeles. But the answer is right here on the ship. The Holiday has a complete men's and women's salon with expert hairstylists and cosmeticians. You can even get a great manicure. Just charge it to your sale and sign card. And wait till you see the duty-free Galleria shopping mall. It offers crystal from Austria, perfume from France, porcelains from Spain, gifts from all over the world, plus sundries. Love sundries. And holiday logo souvenirs. I bought a shirt just like this one for going ashore. I mean, I have to look my best, don't I? We're heading for Mexico. But not before stopping at the shore excursion desk. They'll tell you all about the sights and attractions you should see during your visit and can arrange for any transportation or tickets you may need. And again, you can conveniently charge your tours to your sale and sign card. Okay, now we're ready. Ensenada, here we come. This is Ensenada, a sunny town on the Baja Peninsula that explodes like a piñata with colorful surprises. You can take a tour along the rugged Baja coastline. Shop at a quaint outdoor native bazaar for Mexican handicrafts and see the spectacular blowhole. You can take to the trails on horseback for a tour of the countryside. Visit the Santo Tomas Winery, Baja California's oldest winery, founded in 1888. Be sure to sample their Cabernet Sauvignon. Mmm, magnifico. And before you head back to the ship, I'm sure you'll want to visit one of your favorite cantinas. And bargain for bargains on the Avenida Lopez Mateos, with its wonderful displays of Mexican blankets and dresses, Aztec art, and pre-Columbian artifacts. Oh, I have to have this. How much is this? Only 14 If you take a four-day cruise aboard the holiday, you'll also make a stop at one of America's most famous islands, Catalina. This famed playground of Hollywood stars is just 24 miles from the California coast. In this charming village of Avalon, you can visit the breathtakingly beautiful Avalon Ballroom. This enormous dance palace with its open-air terraces is 12 stories above the sea and was once famous to millions of radio listeners all over America. Below the ballroom is the magnificent Avalon Theater. It's a movie palace built in the 1930s and was one of the very first to be equipped for sound. The streets are full of fun shops. And for a really exciting Technicolor experience, 
Come aboard one of the island's undersea tour boats to see brilliant neon fish, graceful mantis, and playful sea lions. And while you're here, be sure to take a tour of the hills and creep along narrow roads above tall cliffs and see startling views of the beaches below. As you climb higher, you'll see hundreds of buffalo and fields full of wild lilies and lilacs, and soaring above those fields and cliffs, graceful falcons and eagles. And just possibly on your tour, you'll have the view of something really spectacular. The site of your fun ship holiday at rest in Catalina Bay, waiting for your return. We just had a really great time. Oh, Catalina's great. That's where we spent our honeymoon, my wife and myself. Catalina, I've been there before and it's still great every time you go. It's wonderful to visit back and Ensenada, the people are friendly. Definitely Ensenada sit at the little shops and have a beer or margarita and watch the people go by. It was lovely. It was excellent. We just had a really great time. The best thing about the cruise is you can do as much as you want or as little as you want at any time. Meet some people, eat, drink, and be merry. Playing volleyball with my friends up on the deck. Be waited on. <laughs> just being pampered. It's hard not to be impressed by the service. Anywhere we go, uh, there are people waiting on your hand and foot. The service has been incredible the dinner too. The dinners are delightful. Oh, great food, great food. Mm -hmm. It's everything you'd ask for. The shows here are just like the shows in Vegas. I have been to Las Vegas and I've seen the shows in Las Vegas. It compares just great. Yeah. I'd skip Vegas and come here if I had my choice. <laughs> it's very romantic. It's for couples. <laughs> I think. <laughs> After nine years of marriage and a five-year-old, it's time to get away and fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Once you've been on a fun ship cruise, you'll want to take another and another. And I'm happy to say we have many other exciting cruises to choose from. Whether it's a return trip to Mexico to see the beautiful sights of the Mexican Riviera, or a sun-drenched cruise to the eastern, western, or southern Caribbean, a getaway to the Bahamas, or a cruise all the way down to South America, or all the way north to Alaska, our ports of call can be as different as Jamaica and Juneau. But Carnival's dedication to quality, service, and fun are the same everywhere we go. We'll see you on board.